management accounting, the management process. Let's talk about when a manager performs. In other words, after they've planned, they then execute those plans as they perform their duties. Now, there's two concepts that are important for you to understand in the performance of a manager's um, tasks and duties. The first thing is, is the value chain. The value chain is inside a business, and it's the value that is created by the manager and the employees and the internal business processes in order to create a service or a product that customers want to acquire or buy. And so when we talk about the value chain, there's two things. There's primary processes and support services. Now, support services are things like human resources, information technology, accounting, legal. Those are things that a business must have, but we try to keep those costs to a minimum. The primary processes, though, there is a causal re relationship between what those primary processes do, such as production, such as research and development, such as distribution, between the product and the service and the customer satisfaction or delight. So it's very easy to say to a customer, would you be willing to pay an additional two cents in order to get your product or service delivered to you earlier? And they would say yes, because there's a causal relationship there. So primary processes, total link or traceability between what is done and customer satisfaction. Support services, not too much of a link, but necessary parts of the business. So when you break the value chain down, you break it down by primary processes and support services. Now having said that, there's three kinds of businesses and you really have to think about what kind of business you're in and that really drives how you run your business. So for example, if I'm in a commodity business such as I make and sell paper clips, you really don't care how paper clips are made or anything like that. What you're interested in as a buyer is how much do these paper clips cost and you want the lowest cost. So when we are in a commodity business selling uh, goods or services that are commodities, meaning you could care less who made them, the number one driver here is cost. So your key question as a manager would be how much does it cost? You want the lowest, lowest cost. If we're thinking about um, discount stores, this would be Walmart, wouldn't it? Because they're the low cost leader, aren't they? Now, the other end of the spectrum is if you are a brand uh, company. In other words, you're selling lifestyle. I can buy a plain old t-shirt or I can buy a t-shirt with some sort of embroidery on it and I am willing to pay probably ten times more than a plain old t-shirt because that t-shirt has embroidery on it. And the reason is, is I'm very interested in the brand. And the reason I'm interested in the brand is because I see value from having that embroidery on it. it in other words, I am buying as a consumer lifestyle when I buy brand. Brand says I am a certain kind of person, I like certain things, and I attract other people that have similar interests to myself. In other words, like-minded branded individuals. So a brand is a way of value creation because of how we um, view ourselves. And the reason we're willing to pay more is why? We're worth it. The last kind of business that you can be in is the niche market. A niche market says once you've, uh, you have a specific need, once that need is satisfied, it goes away and you can care less about it. So for example, SAT, GRE, GMAT, and ACT review courses are definitely a niche market. You have a need till you take that exam, get the score that you want, and that goes away. Now, if I'm a manager of a commodity, what's my key question? How much does it cost? If I'm a manager of a brand, then I'm very interested in value creation, value enhancement, all the bells and whistles that I can put in there that a customer salivates and wants to buy my product. Whereas niche, 
I am very just interested in meeting specific needs and targeting that market. So those are the three kinds of business and the value chain. Next we'll come back and talk about supply chain.